Three Creeks Capital. Today I want to help you understand what you need to consider before going into drop and what the implications may be. A drop is a voluntary decision. If you're going to continue to work, you do have the option to not go into drop and attain a higher pension benefit percentage that increases every year until you reach 72% in 33 years of service. Deciding to enter drop or not retiring and continuing to work is a big decision and needs careful consideration. Also remember that everyone's situation is different and you need to make the best decision for you and your family. I want to run through this example here to show the impact of going into drop. All right, so here we have drop. Drop is one of our options and we're working five more years. All right, so let's say you go and drop and your final average salary is $100,000 a year. Well, your, your pension benefit on that is going to be 60% of your final average salary, so let's say $60,000 a year or so. Uh, times the five years is going to be the number of years that you're going to be in drop, so about $300,000. Now, what's also going to go into your drop is employee contributions and interest that's going to accrue over time as well. So, in aggregate, you're looking at roughly around $383,000 or so that could potentially be within your drop account within that five-year period. Now, once you retire, and let's say you start to invest that outside of drop, and 10 years after drop, uh, you're earning 6% return, 6 rate of returns, uh, let's say that's going to be about 685000 that this account could grow to during that time. In 20 years, it could be closer to $1.2 million with a 6% rate of return. Now, how does that compare with uh, not doing drop? when you hit your 25 years, but just continue to work for five more years. Well, we know your final average salary is going to be a little bit higher. It's going to be about 116000 in this example. And then your pension payout is going to be about 67.5% for 30 years of service. That's a difference of about $18,000 more per year. All right, And if you use those dollars, save those, and invested those same dollars, earning a 6% rate of return, you can see here uh, 10 years after retirement would be about 241,000, and 20 years after retirement, you're looking at about 670, or yeah, 673,000. So you can see a big difference here between how fast things can accumulate uh, between drop and then just working five more years and saving the difference. The difference for the 10 years is 685,000 compared to 241,000. So drop typically is a good option for a lot of uh, for a lot of OPNF members. Here's what you need to keep in mind. Your first decision is irrevocable, meaning that drop is a one-way street. Once you're in, there's no turning back. You will lock into your pension percentage of your final average salary, keeping you from increasing it in the future. You automatically qualify for a 50% joint survivor annuity while participating in drop, and this is called the pre-retirement survivor annuity. It can be found in the drop election form. Check out my other videos on, drop election, on the drop election form before making your selection. You will lose interest um, if you do not participate in drop for the minimum participation period, and you forfeit your entire drop benefit if you continue to work more than eight years after your drop effective date. However, that percentage of your final average salary will increase. You forfeit your drop accruals if you accept a disability grant from OPNF. Your drop accruals are subject to income tax upon withdrawal, and even though your drop accruals may not be considered a marital asset, Division of Property Orders, or otherwise known as DOVO Orders, and other withholding orders can still apply to drop. You cannot withdraw your drop accruals until you retire, and the minimum participation period has elapsed from your drop effective date. The current minimum participation period is that five years. You cannot enroll in OPNF sponsored health care benefits until you retire, and if you transfer to another employer, you can continue your drop participation as long as OPNF receives consecutive contributions on your behalf. I know this is a lot of information to digest. If you have questions about your particular situation, give me a call. I'm here to help in any way I can. If you're interested in learning more about your pension, check out our other videos in our knowledge library or on our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and be safe.